Good morning, friends. My name is Esther Hume. I am a Methodist local preacher in the Chelmsford Circuit. Ian and I are members at Christchurch, Braintree. These are strange and difficult times, but we thank God that we are able to come together in worship via technology. Thanks go to Mark and David Songer for enabling this to happen. We listen to, or you can join in and sing, Be still, for the presence of the Lord, the Holy One, is here. The presence of the Lord, the Holy One, is here. Come bow before Him now with reverence and fear. In Him no sin is found. We stand on holy ground. Be still for the presence of the Lord, the Holy One is here. Be still for the glory of the Lord is shining all around. Burns with holy fire, with splendor he is crowned. How awesome is the sight, our radiant King of light. Be still, for the glory of the Lord is shining. Wherever we are this morning, we are on holy ground and God is with us as we worship. God's love is shining all around us and the power of his Holy Spirit strengthens our faith. We come to worship on this first Sunday of Lent. It is almost a year since we were in the first lockdown. What a year it has been. So much has happened during the year. No visiting of families, only going out for essential shopping, only visiting surgeries when necessary. There have been so many deaths and much heartache. People having to isolate and our NHS and folk on the front line being overworked and our hospitals now almost full to capacity. Hospital chaplains are giving of their all as they support staff and patients and their relatives. Some teachers having to be in school 
and also preparing lessons for those who are at home. Parents now having to become teachers themselves. You will recall yourselves what has happened through this past year. A few weeks ago we heard the message that Jesus should be named Emmanuel, God with us. And all through the past year, God has been there with us. We have seen his love being shown through those working in our food banks. Those who have gone the extra mile by shopping and collecting medication. Supporting those isolating and housebound with a welcoming telephone call. Giving of their time by raising money for charity and the many other folks who have helped and been supported during this pandemic. Let us now pray. There is a response. I share with you Emmanuel, God is with us. And if you would like to share the response, it is thanks be to God. Almighty God, we bring before you those that I have just mentioned that they may have strength, courage and wisdom for all they have done and are doing. May we continue to remember them in our prayers. Emmanuel, God with us. Loving God, worthy of all praise and honour, we come to offer our worship, to be still and to know that you are God. Emmanuel, God is with us. Thanks be to God. We lift our hearts with joy, our voices in thanksgiving, our lives in adoration. We thank you that you speak to us, teach us and deepen our relationship with you. Emmanuel, God is with us. Thanks be to God. We thank you for this season of Lent, this time which invites us to pause and take stock, to reflect on the things of life which really matter. Help us to use this time to hear your voice, to seek your will and experience your love. Emmanuel, God is with us. Thanks be to God. Lord, we pray for your forgiveness. We fail you again and again, caring more about ourselves than others and you. Yet you still continue to love us. Let us confess our sins to Almighty God. When we confess our sins and are truly sorry, we hear your gracious words to us. Your sins are forgiven. Emmanuel, God is with us. Thanks be to God. You are all good, all holy, merciful and loving, faithful and true. Emmanuel, God is here with us. Thanks be to God. We, these prayers we pray through Jesus Christ our Lord, our friend and our Saviour. Amen. Thy word is a lamp for our feet and a light for our path. Ian reads our Bible passage for us. Thank you, Ian. Our reading today comes from the Gospel according to Mark, chapter 1, reading from verse 9 to 13. The Baptism of Jesus In those days Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptised by John in the Jordan. And just as he was coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens torn apart and the Spirit descending on him like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, You are my Son, the Beloved. 
with you I am well pleased. And this spirit immediately drove him out into the wilderness. He was in the wilderness forty days, tempted by Satan, and he was with the wild beasts, and the angels waited on him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. I love to see the sunshine and this week we have certainly been blessed by it. Normally at this time of year I would be thinking of spring cleaning as the shafts of light bursting through the windows show up the layers of dust which have accumulated through the winter months and challenge me to start spring cleaning. This year as some of you know Ian and I will be moving to Northumberland so we have had people viewing our home ready for our move. The spring cleaning has been going on for months. The house is as shiny as a new pin, as they say, and the oven, well, is so bright. The springtime also heralds the blossoming of new life that can already be, be seen in the trees, the snowdrops, the crocuses and the daffodils, all of the wonders of the miracle of rebirth. Today is the first Sunday in Lent, the time we recall when Jesus, after his baptism, went into the desert for a period of 40 days and was tempted by the devil. The original meaning of Lent was Holy Spring. Lent is a time of preparation, a spiritual spring cleaning, a challenge to combat evil in our lives. And Lent is a time to examine ourselves before God. Lent is a time for new beginnings. New beginnings in our life start with repentance and that means being sorry. Lent is a glorious 40-day retreat. A retreat is a time to stand back, to ask God to show us what we need to do to change for the better, where we have failed and what we need to confess to God. A Lenten retreat is a time to recognise our wrongdoings and to be forgiven, cleansed and renewed. Lent is also a time of hope. I find so much reassurance and hope in those words recalled to us by Mark, particularly verse 10. Have we heard those words? Is God pleased with us? God calls us to work and witness for him. As God sent Jesus with the Holy Spirit into the desert, he also sends us out into the world. He ministers to us when we find ourselves in difficulties. When God calls, he also equips us. The death and resurrection of Jesus has given us a new standing before God. We have life. We have peace. We have hope. Jesus was truly God and yet truly human. He was led in the de desert to be tempted just as we are. He knows what it is to be human and all the experiences of what humanity entails. Jesus knew loneliness, persecution, suffering, torture, yes, and death, yet he was without sin. We may not know, we cannot tell, what pains he had to bear, but we believe it was for us he hung and suffered there. There was no other good enough to pay the price of sin. He only could unlock the gate of heaven and let us in. During this year we have lost three very dear friends, all of whom we have known for over 50 years. One we had cradled in our arms as a baby and two with their spouse and families had shared joys and sorrows 
through life's event. Yes, we grieved. Yes, we cried. Nothing to be embarrassed about. For Jesus wept. The shortest verse in the Bible. Jesus, when hungry in the wilderness, was tempted by the devil to turn stones into bread. Jesus answered, One does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Holy Scriptures, the words of the Bible, bring us comfort, strength and hope. I would like to continue with the temptations of Jesus and his response to the devil. But there is not time this morning. What I would like to share are those last words of that passage that Ian read. Then the devil left him and angels came and waited on him. However the devil may tempt us in this pandemic, we can remain firm in our trust and hope and faith that Emmanuel, God, is with us and stand secure that his word, his love and the power of his Holy Spirit will get us through. I pray that this year our own Lenten experience may be a time for us, holy spring cleaning, as we experience a time of retreat and repentance, a time of renewing ourselves with God, a time of hope and forgiveness, filled with joy and gladness as we celebrate Easter Day. Celebrating the resurrection of Jesus, overcoming sin and death, so enabling us have that gift of everlasting life. Alleluia! What a Saviour! The Saviour, Emmanuel, God with us, who will be with us through our Lenten experiences, through this Covid epidemic, in whatever circumstances we find ourselves. May God give us courage. We have our hope and trust in him he will not he he will not fail us amen god bless you all we will now have our prayers of intercession which will be followed by the lord's prayer esther reminds us that the journey of jesus into the desert led by the holy spirit means in our faith, forgiveness, renewal, and above all, hope. And so in hope, let us pray for our world, for one another, and ourselves. When I use the words, to you, O Lord, I lift up my soul, I invite you to respond, I put my trust in you. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. I put my trust in you. In situations where I have no answers, Lord, and your presence seems distant, to you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. I put my trust in you. when the ways of the world seem to overcome the light and hope of Christ. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. I put my trust in you. When the world seems chaotic, wars continue. Our pandemic is worldwide. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. I put my trust in you. When it seems that those I pray for remain untouched, to you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. I put my trust in you. 
when I despair and turn from you, when I fall or fail, to you, O Lord, I lift up my soul, I put my trust in you. Loving God, as we journey with Christ into Lent, help us to know your guidance, the leading of your Spirit, O Lord. Teach us your paths. Lead us into your truth and teach us to listen to your voice. Hear our prayers, O Lord, God of our salvation and our hope. Amen. And you're invited to join with me in the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen.
blessing. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you his peace, joy, love and hope. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.